A carnival ship has absolutely no shortage of things to do. Whether you're into just hanging out poolside or you like things a bit more upbeat, then you'll definitely find something on the ship for you. I've rounded up what I consider the must do things on board a carnival cruise so that you always have an idea of what to do. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that every ship is different. So I've only focused on the ideas that you'll have on large portions of the fleet, not just on the newest ships. With that in mind, let's get to those things that you have to do when you sail Carnival. If you're sailing on Carnival, you might have heard about Guy's Burger Joint. On Carnival ships, there is a Guy's, usually poolside, serving fresh burgers and fries, and it is completely free, or it's included with your cruise fare, technically. Why are these burgers such a big deal? Instead of some dried out burger sitting under a heat lamp, Guy's offers up fresh food that's tasty and the price cannot be beat. Grab one and you're likely to be hooked immediately. Just know they are only open for lunch and early dinner, usually noon to 6 p.m. Lines can be long when they first open. If relaxing poolside isn't your thing, or more likely you have kids, then you can spend some time checking out the water slides and the water park on the ship's pool deck. What's offered? It will vary depending on the ship that you sail. They are designed for the kiddos, but your little one should be potty trained before playing in the water. There is likely no activity more popular on a cruise than working on your tan. On days at sea, you'll see seemingly everyone on the ship getting some sun. If you want to be in the middle of the action, then head to the pool area where you'll find most people enjoying the weather. Those wanting somewhere a little less busy, they can try the Serenity area, which is adults only, or try sunny spots usually found at the back of the ship. One thing. The sun, it is a whole lot stronger at lower latitudes like in the Caribbean. Don't stay out without sunscreen for too long or you can quickly burn. If you're looking for a unique way to spend an evening at sea, what about hanging out by or in the pool watching a movie on the big screen? In the evenings, new release movies are shown on the large video board that towers over the pool. You can hang out and relax taking in a flick in one of the most perfect settings imaginable from the comfort of the pool, the hot tub, or your pool lounger. Just because you were at sea, doesn't mean that you have to miss the game. True, the cabin television sets, they don't have a lot of options when it comes to watching sports. But if you wanna watch a sporting event, then visit the casino or better yet, the Skybox Sports Bar. The Skybox, they offer a sports theme atmosphere complete with several TV sets showing all the action across all the games. You can sit, watch the game, and enjoy a beer with other sports fans. Even if there's nothing playing at the moment, it's still a cool place to hang out that sports 24-7. Any bar on the ship can get you a beer or a margarita if you want it. But what about a spicy chipotle pineapple martini or a curative peach cosmopolitan? If drinks that are a little out of the ordinary appeal to you, then the Alchemy Bar might be right up your alley. The bar, it's staffed by mixologists who put new spins on drinks. The bar is available on many ships, but be prepared to spend a little more than usual for the unique mixtures. Still, it is a unique place to have a drink on board the ship, and it seems like it's always hopping. I'll be the first to say that the payouts in a cruise casino, they aren't that great. If you really want the best place to play, stick to land-based casinos where you can find better payouts. But gambling on a cruise, it's still a lot of fun and it offers lower limits for smaller players. In addition, there are also a number of unique games in cruise casinos that you won't find on land, like the coin pusher machines and even shipboard lottery tickets. The casino isn't open when you are in port, but once in international waters, you can play all you want. Oh yeah, there are also slot tournaments available as well. Duty-free shopping is big business on a cruise ship and in ports of call. The laws, they allow them to sell goods without taxes or duty, which means that they can be cheaper than what you'll find back home. The popular items, they include things like alcohol, cigarettes, and jewelry and watches. Just note that there are limits on what you can bring home before you have to pay fees to the government when you disembark at the end of your trip. If you're the type that likes your vice though, then it's a must do to do a little shopping on board. 
Carnival's Pizza Parlor is Pizzeria del Capitano, or on some ships, it is called Pizza Pirate. Now, I've been on some other lines where the pizza, frankly, tastes like cardboard. That is not the case on Carnival. Carnival Spot, they serve up homemade pies that are made fresh around the clock, and they are absolutely delicious. Best of all, the pizza is included in your cruise. In fact, you can even have it delivered to you on some ships, although a small charge does apply if you do that. Havana Bar is one of the favorite hangouts on Carnival ships. The Cuban-themed bar on newer ships like Horizon and Vista has one part that is a cozy spot to share a drink, while the other part features a large dance floor. In the evenings, there are bands that play great music that you can use to practice your salsa moves. If you want to have a little fun on a Caribbean night while sailing in the Caribbean, then it cannot be beat. If you have kids or you are just a kid at heart, one of the fun things to do on any large cruise ship is to play the games. Most ships, they have a putt-putt mini golf course that adults and kids will find entertaining. The wind definitely makes it more challenging on a ship. As well, ping pong is also a favorite with the cruise lines even holding tournaments so you can challenge your fellow passengers. There are also other games like foosball. Don't miss it. Not many people want to go on a cruise to exercise, but it is a great way to feel better by eating that entire steak and lobster the night before. Most gyms, they are also stocked rather well with plenty of machines and space for anyone interested in getting a workout done. These aren't your small dark gyms like you might find in a hotel. I always make it a must do to visit once or twice during a cruise. Looking for a fun way to get some friendly competition during your trip? Trivia contests, they go on several times a day covering all sorts of themes from the Simpsons to flags of the world. Do not worry, you don't have to be a Jeopardy champion to be able to compete. You'll find all skill levels having a great time playing along. And if you win, a golden ship trophy might be yours. It's a fun little keepsake to remind you of your victory. If you don't win, it's still a fun way to spend some time on your carnival cruise. If you like to go out to the club or love a dance party, then you're going to love cruising. Not only are there nightclubs to enjoy, but there are often themed dance parties on the top decks. For instance, Carnival has an electric white night where you put on your favorite white outfit to go dancing. I've also been on board during Mardi Gras and those parties. Now these parties usually start around 10 p.m. and go to around midnight or later in some cases. So it's not exactly partying on South Beach, but it can still be a good time. Cruise lines, including Carnival, they put on a number of shows and performances during the cruise. And the shows can be top notch with amazingly talented performers. Some of the most entertaining are the programs that have audience participation as they can sometimes have some off script moments. There are shows typically several nights of the cruise, usually at around 7.30 and then again at 9.30 so you don't miss a thing in between dinner. In the evening, these are the main highlights of things to do and a fun way to spend your time before or after your meal. Do not miss them. It's no secret that cruise lines make money on selling alcohol on the ship. It's common to pay six or eight bucks for a beer and upwards of nine to twelve dollars for a cocktail. So when there is a deal to be found, you should pay attention. On many carnival ships, there is a self-serve beer tap. I see them in the buffet usually. You simply tap your key card and you are charged by the ounce that you pour. The price comes out to about four or five bucks for a beer, making it the cheapest that I've seen on any cruise ship across any line. There's a lot of talk about the pool on a cruise ship, and it is one of the main focal points on board. But don't forget about the hot tubs. Usually there are several on the ship, including often ones in the Serenity adults only area and near each pool. If you're fine sharing a little company with others on the ship, then have a dip in the hot tub and let the heat and the bubbles work their magic. There's no shortage of topside places to relax on the newest carnival ships, including multiple pools and hot tubs, which I mentioned. But the Serenity adults only area is among the most relaxing areas I found. First, no kids are allowed, but even better is that I think many people either don't know about the area or they simply want to be where the action is. 
In my experience, there are drastically fewer people in the Serenity area than you'll see poolside. That gives you some nice peace and quiet. There are also some private clamshell loungers and hot tubs to even relax more. If you want to just chill, I can think of no better place on the ship. There's a lot of time on the cruise ship, but one thing I think you have to do is book an excursion for when you're in a port of call. Heading out on your own during a stop in a port is fine, but it can be a little tough to plan something in a foreign country. That's why I like to book at least one excursion through the cruise line. Not only do I not have to worry about any of the details, I simply book the excursion and then I'm done. But they also offer the opportunity to do things that you simply cannot do back home. Anyone who has sailed Carnival, they know that towel animals are a big deal. Each evening, you'll find one in your cabin when the steward makes up the room. But head down to the pool deck early later on in your cruise and you'll find an invasion of them. Something special that Carnival likes to do, put together hundreds of towel animals across all the pool loungers. You'll find elephants, dinosaurs, alligators, turtles, uh, you'll find everything. If you're an adult, it's a fun little quirk, but if you have kids, it is something they will definitely want to see. If you want to explore the ship and have a fun scavenger hunt at the same time, then set out to hunt down the ship's coin. Carnival ships, they have a coin minted as a memento of the vessel being built. The coin is then displayed and passengers can go view it. There isn't much fanfare around the coin, so don't expect like a big neon sign that points to it. Instead, it's been enclosed in a small glass box with a picture of the ship and labeled with the year that the ship was built. I have found them often near the pool decks in the open air toward the middle of the ship, but the locations may vary. One thing that you cannot miss is one of the easiest and least expensive ways to remember your cruise, getting a photo with the ship. When you board on embarkation day, there will be a photographer and a backdrop with an image of the ship. And when you get off at ports of call, you'll see a photographer set up as well. Now these photos, they're great, but you will have to pay for them if you decide to buy them. Although taking the photo itself is no charge. You can also just find a spot on the pier with the ship in the background to where you can take a selfie that won't cost you anything at all. That's my list of must do things on a Carnival ship, but I am just one person. Thousands of Carnival fans will watch this video and you no doubt have some great ideas on what people should do. Be sure to share them in the comments below. Until next time, please subscribe and for more tips and advice, you can always visit cruisely.com. Happy sailing.